tell you what's good today. A little striker love, a little puppy love, a little mama love. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'll give you a little, oh, hey, anyways. EAAs, BCAAs, glutamine. Um, got my pump in there. And you guys don't do this. You don't do this. Don't worry about it. It's not in there. What is that? What is don't that? Don't worry about what's in there. What? Don't worry about what's in there. Uh, a little just... something, something. A few snowflakes. That's trend, straight up. That's how we do it here. We're gonna go work out. I'm gonna absolutely. You gonna drink all that? I'm not gonna drink all of it. Wow. So one thing I tell you that nobody could do is drink a shake like Mike does. It yeah. takes me uh, and Jeffrey mm -hmm. about 10 minutes to drink a shake. This Amateurs. man, like rookie this numbers. Man, I don't understand it. Like really, it just blows my mind away. <sighs> oh. All right, so we're on power bodybuilding, but today's a press exercise. We are got a special guest coming in today. Who we got? And then we also got to a celebration because Elias got married today. Um, <laughs> or just getting married. I don't know how that whole green card thing works, but regardless. Someone's getting paid. Somebody's getting paid and getting citizenship. It's great. <laughs> We're not going to name names. So anyways, um, <sighs> I'm going to take protein with. Uh, pump twice a day right now. That's a four scooper. Uh, for you guys, do one scoop. See how it works with you. Remember, it's a non-stim. But great news is we are working on one for you youngsters that love to get crazy. For and the surges out, out yeah, there. For the surges and just out there that love the, the bangs and stuff like that, that love the caffeine spikes and the shakiness. So this is my trigger finger. I actually like it too. So just so you guys know, you guys always ask me about caffeine, caffeine, caffeine. Love caffeine. Love it. Uh, twice a day. So just for you guys to... Get that information. Let's get to this workout. We're going down to Powerhouse Gym. Um, so Mona, call an Uber. Oh no, we, we got our own car. This is great. This is great. Security car. Yeah. Work on yourself first. Well, that's not something. The Tijuana. See. Where is that? That's Sur that Surge's Surge's new show. <laughs> he got it. He did it. He wasn't. He wasn't. How are you? What's up, Captain? How about you? You good? Doing good. Doing good. Is the man here? He's not. He just left. Oh. Sorry. He does early. I thought you guys were here like eleven thirty. I've never seen you guys this big. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi. How are you? Big dog. Toxic already. Look at you. Here we go. Pleasure to see you guys. Good to see you Good morning. All right, we got a little shoulder workout going on today. You guys are going to love this workout. Let me try to catch up to speed. Right now you're seeing the final result after some nice warm-ups. Nice little camera action on Jeffrey right there. Oh, you know. I see that. So the reason why he's showing you that handle is I'm going to go inside those lines. So those elbows go forward. Now, believe it or not, these are all different sets. This is not the same thing over and over again. But what I do <laughs> like seeing is that the speed and strength of each set is very similar. So I'm resting long enough to get it. And I also like showing Mona lifting off. The, the female lifting? That's not a female. That's a beast. So one thing here. Wow, nice edits. Those are, We're going to be hitting six sets of this at 325. Um, again, just a little shoulder press, front shoulder press. Have fun with it. I bring it all the way down. As I recommend bringing it all the way down like that. And don't cut it short. For me... For me, because of range of motion, again, that's more important than anything else. And that's a four. Wait to finish that up. The six set, I did four reps. Um, because I was feeling really strong. And as you do this, what you're going to find is as you continue through those sets, mostly on power bodybuilding, well, just on power bodybuilding, is that you're going to get stronger as the sets go. As the body kind of gets used to that weight over and over again. 
This is Chris. Chris jumped in with us uh, today for shoulders. Elias is doing great on this. Um, you guys should really pay attention to how we're training Elias. And that is trying to slow him down. Uh, again, just turned 21, uh, over 220 pounds, 9% body fat. And the point with him is the same kind of thing that a lot of us as kids had is just that aggression to go 110, seven days a week, twice a day, you know, no rest, full-time bodybuilder. And the problem is he was, wasn't feeding his body enough is one thing. Uh, second thing is he was just destroying himself on every single workout. When you got to stimulate, you, you're not going to be able to recover. Um, remember, uh, Elias is doing it the same way I did it and, and do it is he stays clean. So there's no enhancements. There's nothing like that. It's purely food and supplementation correctly over the counter. What? Over the <laughs> counter? <laughs> no, just branch chains, glutamine, that kind of stuff. You guys know. Um, that way he can keep this for a lifetime because he's an actor. He's not trying to be Mr. Bodybuilder. He wants to be an actor or is an actor. And so, and then Chris here is uh, got a great physique, uh, track star. Love his posture on this for him too. And he uh, he really did did well this day. Came in and pushed through, and stayed with our program as we did it today. Now, for you guys that are doing power bodybuilding, you guys know that you got your sets and reps in on the shoulder press, and then uh, you don't have a lot of secondary stuff. Um, but today we did do a lot of secondary stuff because wanted to give you guys a little fun, a little fun on this day. What are we showing here? So, oh, this is me talking about line the bar up for your training partner. Um, let them get ready mentally and everything like that. Set the bar. Let him do his thing. Make sure his posture is good. Make sure his hands are even. Just uh, if he's so psyched up for the lift and stuff. So little details like that. That's what a training partner is there for. Um, it's not just there to lift off the weight. And that's why I like to use a Mona. Um, because if I fail, I fail. Um, she knows you. Yeah, she knows me. She doesn't, not a nervous spotter. She doesn't grab the bar or anything like that. So that's a, a good thing to have as a good training partner in that sense. Uh, let's see what I'll say. Oh, I got my program with me. I still look over it. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, I, I check out every single day, make sure I'm doing it right. Uh, even me that, that wrote the routine, I still look it over and make sure I'm on the right day doing the right rep range, uh, sets and reps, and the right weight. Uh, I recommend, I recommend taking notes. I recommend writing down. I recommend, uh, especially if you're trying to do this for a long period of time, keep all those things. I mean, I'm so glad that I did that as a young teenager, 12, 13, 14 years old. I still got that book that I will show you guys later this year when we get time to uh, put that on an ebook. All right. So I don't know if, do we have the yeah. bad form yeah, on here? Yeah, you have it. All right, so what I'm showing here is front raises, how I would like you to try it. These are the drop sets. So this is the drop set. So I had them, I let them do their thing on the front raise, and then I came in and I corrected it. I just wanted a little bit more isolation. And here's the one big thing is uh, Chris has a, a good structure, great body. Uh, he has great mind-to-muscle connection naturally. Now, Elias... Uh, is still got great body parts and then he's got some body parts that he has to continue to work on and so you can see the speed here is fine for me for how Chris does this but if you can't connect to that muscle and squeeze through it um, then I, I recommend dropping the weight down now great thing about Chris is he was a uh, track star so he's very explosive very explosive but I still bring him down slowly down now what we're going to do is we're going to show you that change up. See how his fingers were one position? Now his front finger is down at the top. So it's a rotation on a front raise. Now you've probably never done this. You're going to love this and you're going to love the isolation and the squeeze of this thing. <clears throat> Why am I looking so juicy? Holy sheesh. It's a big boy. All right, so there's the actual position that I want you to do. Rotate, turn. It's a small movement throughout the whole thing, but it's rotating as you lift. 
That's a normal. This is what I have you doing. So if you have bad shoulders, this might be a little tougher for you. For you kids, I think, start now. That way you keep that rotation and movement available to you as long as you possibly can. Good. Now you can see the isolation here for Elias. Oh, failures uh, laterals. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. oh. So this workout's going to give you a whole bunch of different ways that we did things. So again, this is my front raise for, for the day. That's good, too. His, his form slowed down a lot. Yeah, right? He's really focusing on that. And you take it straight up in front, I mean. He's swooping around right now. I think I correct him here and say, just take it straight up instead of coming around oh, and up. Yeah. So same thing. Speed is a great thing if, and I, and, and I was talking to these guys about this, and I was saying, like, if you watch Arnold in his old videos, or Robbie or any of these guys, or Lou Ferrigno, and you see how fast they move those weights back in the day, um, you'd be like, oh, okay, so I can do that. Well, huh. no, you can't. Right. You can't connect like they could connect. So be smart enough to know that um, and, and slow it down until you understand the exercise and really connect to it. Then you can speed it up. Man, I remember seeing guys like Tom Plaz before I trained with him at, in my 20s move through the weights and I was like, gosh, dang, he just explodes. Um, and then when I got to train with him for those years, I really got to see his incredible connection mind right. to muscle. It was it was there's something different from the visual to actually what's going on in that set. Yeah, at that yeah. level, mostly Tom, because yeah. there was nobody like Tom. He would train so explosive and swing and stuff, and he'd still get the contraction that he needed. <laughs> now Mo Mo's connection on everything she does is fine. Everything she does is she she's big and jacked. Uh, this young lady is going to be competing here in a couple weeks, and she looked incredible. All right, so those guys went to side laterals. They grabbed, I think, the 30-35s. I grabbed, I think, the 20-25s. And I'm going to do a little something different. Did you show them do the sides? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Their sides. Yep. So I'm keeping the arms to the side, and then the best I can at the top still have that weight to the side of me or behind me. Okay, so this is what these guys are doing. Basic side laterals, nothing wrong with this. It's a great exercise. Jump back to it. Um, I do a lot of these and I'll even go further and I'll do cheat side laterals. So I'll go as heavy as 70, 80 pounds like this. Boom and throw them up. Now I'm just showing you the difference because Jeffrey was like, you don't really notice I noticed that. So complete stop, keep it to the side, and take it up. Now what's great about this is everything's getting hit. You're getting the rears, the sides, the fronts. Try to keep it as far to the side as you possibly can. Let's see how we do this. Oop, oop. I think that might be a little heavy. <laughs> so we took that in weight. So that was 15s. So the weight from 35 down to 15, it kind of shows you the difference on, on how strong you are in this position. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see everybody get strong in this position. It's, it's a tough one. Explaining how I want them to do You're it. You're literally explaining about getting strong in a weak position right now. Ah, uh, there we go. For athletes. And see, that's, he understands that because he's coming from that athlete world. There you go. See, he's doing really good. I'm going to try to keep his arm to the best of his ability to the side instead of it drifting in front. It's not a big motion. It's not a big motion. If you keep the elbow up, that's another part of this. Because your pinky is leading this now, your elbow is going to be up, pointed towards the ceiling. And then we just got the little old school. Oh, whoa. <laughs> there you guys go. 
That's how you properly mount a bench right there. Put the old knees on it and get on top of her. Drive that thing home. Look at those fancy shoes too. All right, so we just got the bench rear dealt and we're gonna come out in front instead of the side. Now you don't see it here, but I'm actually trying to hold it at the top to my best, again, I'm trying to hold it, but it will give you a little beat at the top instead of just swinging it up and throwing it back down. Do your best on taking it up, holding it back down. Again, side and rear delts on this bad boy. <whistles> Shoulders were toasted this day. So right here is a little too fast and there's no trying to hold it at the top for me. But again, he's got great connection to it. So he can do this. He's still hitting those rear delts the way he's doing it. Um, secondary on this one, actually watch his form because this is a great way to do like a cheat rear delt. Mm -hmm. He's pulling it underneath. So he's got a little bit of a swing at the bottom and then just throw it up. Boom. Now, I'm okay with that at times if you're going really heavy and you just want to throw that weight on there. I like how the elbows are not moving. The arm is a locked position. Everything, yeah. You can, you can see. Almost just rotating. Boop. Boop. Oh, a little tired there. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you doing a drop set? What the hell? What are you doing? What the heck is that about? You don't do those? I don't do drop sets. We're gonna edit this part out. I don't want nobody in the world to see me do a drop set. I do not believe in them. Or do I? Kind of throw you guys under the bus there, huh? Yeah, it's the end of the workout. And we are going into week four of power bodybuilding. So this is kind of nice too, because we're gonna take a, a week to do singles again after week four. <clears throat> Nice. This kid has great personality. Good Mississippi kid. <laughs> Southern kid. Again, I like working with athletes because then they already have that uh, superior mindset of pushing it. So it's always fun to train with somebody like that instead of the average mindset. And then Elias, main thing with him is just trying to hold him back from just going ballistic. But what's great about this week and next week is that we don't have to hold him back. We get to let him go. So you guys know I talk about 70% a lot. And so now that 70% is out the window. Now I need 100%. And so these are the times where he has to make sure that that body was recovered enough to where he can go to 100%. And he's still got a little bit more grit to give me. And so you'll see that through the next week of uh, training, how much stronger he is on these. And this is it. This is it. We're gonna do a little pose in here. Little man with his undies on. Ooh. All right, this is gonna be some footage you guys will be able to see soon. We're just gonna go through posing, uh, the way to structure the body as you're posing and all this kind of fun stuff. We're gonna leave you with uh, a little, uh, can we get a little sound of music here? And no, that's it. You guys have a good day. Subscribe down below. That way you get notified on the next videos.